function is something that's written in this notation here, such as f of x equals like 3x minus 1. And what this represents is that whatever's in the parentheses, you're going to put in place of x on the right side of the equation. So like, for example, if we wanted to find out what f of 5 is, we would replace x with uh, 5. So we'd have 3 times 5 minus 1, that'd be 15 minus 1, which is 14. So you're probably familiar with that already, but when you're working with a graph, it's the same concept. Whatever's in the parentheses is going to be your x value or your input, and then whatever comes out, that's going to be your y value. So for example, if we're doing number 1 here, we say, well, what's f of g of 2? We start on the inside of the parentheses, g of 2. We go to our g function. We realize that when the x value is 2, so let's see, x is 1, 2, right? This is the x-axis. We go up to the graph. We can see that the y value is 1. So this is actually equal to 1 right here. And now we work from the uh, inside out. We say, well, okay, what's f of 1? We go to our f function here. We say when x is 1, we go up to the graph. You can see that the y value is equal to 2, and that's our final solution. So basically, start from the inside and work your way out. Let's do another example. So for example 2 here we have g of f of 2. So we start on the inside, we go to our f function. Okay, we say when x is equal to 2, 1, 2. We go up to the graph, we can see that the y value is 1, 2, 3. Okay, so f of 2 is actually equal to 3. So now we have to figure out what's g of 3. So we go to our g function, we say when x is 3, we go 1, 2, 3 on the x-axis, we go up to the graph, the y value is equal to 1. So this whole quantity here, g of f of 2, is equal to 1. Okay, two more examples. See if you can do these if you want. Go ahead and pause the video. Uh, number 3, we've got g of f of 1. So same thing, we start on the inside. We say go to our f function. When x equals 1, we go up to the graph. We can see that the y value is equal to 2, so this whole quantity is 2. Then we go over to the g function. When x equals 2, we're going right 2. We go up to the graph and you can see that the y value is 1. So when you think of f of x or g of x, let's think of that as the y coordinate. Whatever is in the parentheses, think of that as the x coordinate. Okay, last example, see if you can do this one, f of g of 3. So here we're going to go over to the g function, 1, 2, 3. We go up to the graph, we can see that the y value is 1. So this is 1. Now we just have to find out what's f of 1. Well, when x is 1, we go up to, to the graph, you can see that the y value is equal to 2, and you've got it. So if you want to see additional examples working with composition of functions, just doing the algebraic part, not working with the graph, check out the video I did right there, and I'll see you over in that video.